Now, Senator Cullinan, it was you who spotted this discrepancy. It was you who spotted the discrepancy um, in the High Court rules, which the High Court Rules Committee has now acted upon. I might say, since those rules were promulgated in 2004, there have been 16 Austra distinguished Australian jurists sit on the High Court, including two Chief Justices. And I must congratulate you, Senator Cullinan, on being the first person to spot the problem. Good morning, everyone. Rod Cullerton. Um, I'm just putting an interview together just to give an update uh, where matters are at after the election. And currently, I'm down on the farm putting the crop in. And I just wanted to take the opportunity of saying what a great place this property is. And you can see the ocean uh, down the end of one of our paddocks here. And uh, you perhaps can't see the worked up ground, but uh, just a fantastic spot to be. Western Australia has just got great great uh, is a great spot and I'm very proud to be uh, a boy from the country a boy from the bush in this great state okay getting to the election perhaps uh, not the result we were looking for uh, we worked tirelessly I want to again thank all my all my members and certainly all my team uh, for what a great effort we'd put together uh, we seem to have the worst of the better of two evils I should say and that is, uh, here's, the, um, here's the government has come back into election, or come back into power, and essentially uh, we've got to make sure that uh, they continue on the good work that I did while I was in Parliament, and that was to get restitution for the farmers, and, uh, and uh, because this was a government that was uh, opposed to a Royal Commission, Scott Morrison, Malcolm Turnbull, and uh, a few others were, were brought to the table kicking and scratching and they just did not want a Royal Commission but uh, it was imperative that we had it. It brought out the atrocities that's been happening in the financial industry and it certainly now has paved the way for restitution. Now I just wanted to uh, also, as everyone was aware, I was uh, referred to the Australian Federal Police. I encourage that. Uh, and I'm working with the Australian Federal Police into matters, so are my legal team. And these are matters that have to be addressed and uh, why uh, I, w I believe I was unlawfully removed out of Parliament. And they'll be looking into some very influential people um, at very high levels. And one of the interesting uh, parts that are coming out is why the Australian Government Solicitor or the Solicitor General failed to uh, uh, intervene on the day that I went down to to the court as a Commonwealth Public Officer. So these are areas that uh, I've always said I was unfairly dealt with. I felt that I was on my, my own. I always knew what my true position was. I could never have been a person that was uh, made any sequestration order against. That's just a nonsense. And uh, this is now going to really test out the procedure, why the government failed to, to intervene and uh, why I was unlawfully removed out of the parliament. So I encourage that investigation. And also, um, and I'll be keeping people very much informed on this uh, Great Australian Party channel because it's a great, that's what it is. It's the Great Australian Party. It's bringing back the restitution of the Commonwealth. And I know a lot of Australian people don't understand that. We're gonna make it very simplistic, but in other words, you know, our whole government system our whole judicial system has been running under the Queen of Australia. It is not a recognised. Uh, it's not recognised in our constitution. It's in uh, violation to clause two of the constitution. There is only one Queen, and that is the United Kingdom. It cannot be Queen of Australia. That does not exist. I mean, who knows? We just uh, look. I've done thousands of acres down here, and I've yet to see see any Queen of Australia hop through this uh, property anyway. So, look. Uh, and that, that was one of the, you know, the 1988 constitutional report is what I saw in Parliament, what I found. So we've got the evidence now to the point where we've just had the county court affirmatively go to one of a, a Commonwealth um, entity and, and uh, affirmatively show that it's got uh, standing in the court. So we do believe now the farms will be coming back. I've always said the farms will be coming back to the farmers, that uh, even including uh, one of my farms in Williams. So. 
they were taken uh, unlawfully by the ANZ Bank and other other financial entities and uh, have left a major destruction. So the it's not where you um, start the race, it's not how you start the race, it's how you finish finish the race and we're certainly on the on the last furlong now coming home strong. So um, everyone that voted for any of our members or our, our candidates, uh, thank you very much. Uh, our work is not done, our dialogue, there's plenty of dialogue going into London. We've seen Theresa May and one of uh, Andrea Leedsom who is the, the person that we were uh, sending a lot of the material about Queen of Australia to. Uh, they're both, well certainly Andrea, well and uh, Theresa May have both resigned out of Parliament as you've seen. So our work into London has been instrumental to where it's actually uh, grabbing the attention of kingmakers, of uh, high kingmakers of the legal circles in, in the East Coast and former ex-High Court judges on how my matters have been dealt with and where I'm taking these fights up to a very high level for the interest of all Australians. So keep up the support. Uh, we don't necessarily need to be in the Parliament now to win the fight. We can win it from where we are and we will win it and I just want to have let everyone know that um, we haven't given up, we're on very solid ground, we've got the law behind us and um, we're ready to, to bring, bring the bacon home as they say, so for the good of all Australians. So thanks very much, I better get going, we've only got a limited time, I think we've got rain coming so I'll keep the tractor wheels turning and, um, and uh, certainly when there's any updates I'll, I'll certainly keep you posted. Thank you very much and once again thank you for all your support on election day. Bye for now.